Tonight, communities across the country and the valley gather to celebrate their neighborhoods and the people that protect them, first responders. National Night Out grows larger every year, and tonight we bring you the importance of fostering that relationship between police and firefighters and the neighbors they look out for. Little kids, um, sometimes I'll overhear parents say, you better be good, the police are watching. Well, we don't like that. We want kids to know police and fire are, they're the safe people to talk to. When you're in trouble, that's who you're calling for. The relationship between the public and police has at times been strained in the national spotlight over the last few years. National Night Out, which thousands of communities across the country participate in, embraces that relationship, especially with a younger crowd. The whole purpose to let the young people know that we are with them. Anybody in uniform to a lot of young kids might be somebody new. And the more you can increase uh, the interaction and, and increase the friendship and the talking amongst people, I think that's a good thing. And, and National Night's all about that. So while kids and parents got to enjoy Handel's ice cream at Wick Park, one of Youngstown's National Night Out events, kids in Austin Town got to see Beauty and the Beast, the Minions, and Marvel superheroes. Came out to have some fun with them, let him see Captain America. He loves Captain America. But they also met firefighters, DARE officers, SWAT team members, and police officers. Uh, show respect and uh, you know, support for, for the men in blue the real life superheroes. I want to see what they do to help us. Like we went in the SWAT car and we got to see what they got to put on and we got to put on their helmet and it was really cool. And put a face on who to call when they need help. 